Welcome to Mixed Tape Videos. Today, we're comparing two of the best point guards in the league right now, Damian Lillard and Kyrie Irving. We'll break down the comparison into four categories, scoring, playmaking, defense, and accolades. The player who wins the most categories will be declared the better player. With the flat earth thing, is that something that you truly really believe? Does it matter? Yeah. For what? Well, I mean, What's so important about that? You have millions of fans. All right, let's get started. Scoring. This is probably the strongest skill for both players. We all know what Kyrie Irving is capable of when he's determined to put the ball in the basket. He averages 24 points per game in the postseason, shooting 46% from the field. Damian Lillard averages the same amount of points in the playoffs as well, but his shooting percentages tend to go down a bit in the postseason. When it comes to three-point shooting, Kyrie holds a slight edge. During the 2018 season, Lillard attempted 1.8 more three-pointers per game than Irving, but they both made basically the same amount at around three per game. Kyrie made just a little over 40% of his three-pointers, while Lillard made just 36% of his three-pointers. When it comes to scoring in the paint, there's really no comparison. In the 2018 regular season, Kyrie made 64.9% of the shots he took within three feet of the basket. Lillard, on the other hand, made just 55% of them, a decline from last year. Lillard's career high in points scored in a single game is 59, just two points more than Kyrie's 57 points. They both can go off at any given moment, everybody knows that. It was just a couple of months ago when Lillard scored 50 points in under 30 minutes against the Kings. The consistency of Kyrie Irving, however, is arguably more impressive. He averaged 27 points per game in the 2016 Finals, and he didn't have to compromise his efficiency from the field to do that. They're both elite shooters from the free throw line, shooting around 88% for their career. This category could go either way, but Kyrie's ability to take his defender off the dribble at a level we've never seen before, and his skill at finishing in the paint with the efficiency of a center, puts him above Damian. Playmaking these two point guards are not exactly known for their passing ability, but they are extremely good at it when they put their mind to it. For their career, they both average around the same amount of assists per game, Lillard at 6.2 and Irving at 5.5. But when you look season by season, Lillard's assist numbers are more impressive. He's averaged at least 6.5 assists per game for three seasons, something that Kyrie has never done. Kyrie holds a slight edge on assist percentage, but for the last two years it's been almost identical. Their assist to turnover ratio is basically the same as well. With not enough evidence setting the two of them apart from each other, we'll call this one a tie. Defense This one is tough. They both basically have the same defensive rating for their entire careers, neither one of them has ever averaged more than 0.4 blocks per game, Kyrie averages more steals, but neither of them really excel at that. They average about the same amount of defensive win shares per game, and they both average around 2 personal fouls per 36 minutes. They're basically the same player when it comes to defense. The only significant difference is that in the 2018 regular season, Damian Lillard's opponent's field goal percentage dropped 2.4 percentage points when he was guarding them, whereas Kyrie's opponent's field goal percentage went up by 2.8 percentage points when he was defending them. But if we take the 2017 playoffs as a sample, Kyrie was much better at this statistic than Lillard was. We're going to have to call this one a tie as well. Accolades Kyrie Irving was the 2012 Rookie of the Year, he's been selected to five All-Star Game rosters, he has one gold medal, and he's an NBA champion. But he's only made one All-NBA team, the third one, and he's never finished in the top 10 of MVP award shares. Damian Lillard also won Rookie of the Year in 2013. He's made it into the All-Star Game three times, two fewer than Kyrie, but in 2016, he made the All-NBA second team and finished eighth in MVP voting, something Kyrie has never accomplished. The thing that completely creates a gap between the two of them is playoff success. Lillard has never played in a conference finals game. Kyrie helps the Cavaliers reach three straight NBA Finals. He couldn't play in the first series in 2015 due to an injury, but the second time around he completely balled out and became a champion. 
The fact that Kyrie has shown time and time again that he plays his best when the situation calls for it and has earned a ring because of it puts him on top in this category. So with a final score of 4-2, to two, Uncle Drew has defeated Dame Dalla. Drip, drip, drop. Dropping dimes, dropping dimes. Baby Dame Dalla here, trailblazing dimes everywhere. I don't want to boast. I, I can't say, I can't say Dame Dalla. I'm sorry. I just, it sounds really weird. I'm not, I'm not cool enough to say that. Okay. So with a final score of 4-2, to two, Kyrie Irving has defeated Damian Lillard, at least in our matchup. What do you think? Who's better, Kyrie or Damian? Let us know in the comments and make sure you subscribe for more NBA videos like this one.